didn't come for the dance. <laughs> Judges, pencils down, please. Oh, Miss Gian, pencils, please. Miss Shimasaki, pencils. <laughs> My fellow performers, amazing job. But at 13 years old, to bag the nuances of the Sonata in competition, Beethoven must be smiling in his grave. Which begs the question, can you smile if you're dead and deaf? <laughs> One more thing. If you have any hesitation at all about awarding me first place, me, Michael Hadley, my mother surely will secure it all in a trust account, and I will not see you one dime. Um, who are you? Claire McGinnis. I'll be playing the Italian Concerto, second movement. Bach? At a competition? A second movement of a Bach at a competition? You're that old. Your mom and my teacher in Chippewa Falls were college roommates. She's the top teacher out here. See, that's a recommendation on friendship. I mean, my mom sucks. You lie. Excuse me? She teaches you. It's a trick. It's feminine trickery. She wasn't being nice. She was challenging me. Michael, come on. I can't, Jeff. Students. There's a hands-off approach. 
but instead became an interrogator for the East Germans or Russians. I haven't even figured that one out. But at least it wasn't the electrocutioner approach. Claire, practice. Now, see, I have my repertoire down. But actually, they killed off both the Flash and the Supergirl, but actually Kid Flash replaced Flash, so it was more like they were getting rid of Kid Flash. And then the two Earths combined, and you know, the two Supermen were, and, oh. Michael, <laughs> what issue is that? I'm practicing, Mom. Meaning, did you play through each piece more than once? Uh, yeah. Each whole piece. Scoot. Claire's got a lesson. Shoot, 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 shoot. Let me know how Spider-Man dies. Mrs. Hadley, I think Spider-Man is from Marvel. That's why you never see him and Superman together. Mm. So she knows about comics. It's not like she's cute or anything. Girls at 13 are good for one thing. Targets for training bra snapping. <laughs> if my mom asks, the reason I got detention was for running in the hall. It's one thing to be blindsided at a competition, but now Claire's gunning for me. And she's got as a co-conspirator. It's how women are. They gather in packs, ready to hunt. Don't even. I saw the Lion King and Simba's cry. <laughs> but where the Beethoven will qualify? I believe you the Masorsky. Uh, the truth was, no, I didn't. But somewhere along the line, some great lecturer, probably on KCET, had spoken of the advantages of having an expansive playlist. So after my mother took copious notes, it became part of the McGinnis competition strategy. So, another competition, and another set of new pieces.
H, however, that might have clinched it for you. That violinist was so annoying. No, don't get us started. Van Pelt is notorious for stunts like that. You know, I, I heard he actually cut the strings of a competitor's violin once. Yeah, I heard that one too. Well, why don't they just disqualify her? Now, oh, with Van Pelt, that wouldn't be good politicking. Besides, did a student win? Did she place? You both did great. Good job, you two. Yep. Oh, Claire, we're going to go out for ice cream. Do you want to join us? No, my mom's going to take me out. Oh, okay. Well, come on. So, tomorrow? Tomorrow didn't come soon enough. I could tell my mother was seething, but she started the car, no problem, and we pulled out of the parking lot. I didn't get it. I won first place, but she still wasn't speaking to me. Maybe I chewed the gumball. Maybe I chewed it more than 47 times. One more block and we will be on the freeway entrance. Safe. Safe until the alligator off ramp or until we hit traffic. Um, wasn't, wasn't Michael funny, Mom? Nothing. Gotta risk it. That violinist was so out of line. And then screech! We skidded across three lanes and ended up in the shoulder of the road. Claire McKee. What the hell were you doing in there? Don't you dare what me. How could you not know what the Huda Yaga was? Those people were so sweet about your performance, you didn't even deserve an honorable mention. That was sloppy, just sloppy. Don't you ever, ever do that to me again. Don't ever do that to you? out of the country and I forgot my gyro copy to come fly you out. Blair! Just wait, I'll be down. Disappointment. With all due respect, Mrs. Hadley, I'm not really sure this is your 
God, Claire had chicken pox. <laughs> now the stakes were higher. Competitions counted on college apps, and everyone was gunning for the big one, the chance to play with the LA Phil. This was high school, senior year.
down by a girl. Shut up.
social age of a ferret. Well, in my old age, ferrets could live to be 50 years old, except the Africanized ferret, more commonly referred to as ferocious. Michael, shut up! You didn't even pay attention to biology. The end of the list hurt my arm. Michael, Aubrey ran right by you. You didn't even say anything to her. You're welcome. Does anyone have Ben Gay? You are so selfish! I'm selfish? Tannerbaum? Ben Gay? Michael, you were awesome. I mean, the plucking, the strumming, I mean, the, the runs, everything. I mean, I was just absolutely amazed. So am I. He barely practices. <laughs> I heard whimpering. Thank you. Hey, you were pounding out the end. I'm not surprised. Oh, did you hurt your arm? Nothing an amputation won't solve. Look, I, I have to pee. Nice! I think the judges are ready. You should probably take your seat. Well, um, just tell Michael I'm rooting for him. It burns! It burns! <laughs> I think it was a hard-fought battle today. I think we heard an extremely diverse selection of music and some truly wonderful performances. On behalf of the Los Angeles Philharmonic, I want to invite all of you to compete again next year. Michael? What? Did you wash your hands? <laughs> Michael? I know. You do? Yes. I was pounding at the end of the list, and you're obviously going to win this one, but I really want to play with an orchestra, so if you have any, any desire to forfeit, and the winner of the 6th Annual Student Stars Competition... Michael, I like you. Did I hear right? Oh my god, did I hear right? Claire. He's on the International Judging Committee for the Van Cliburn competition. And he teaches violin. You're a former student. Yeah. Young man, I've forgiven your petty antics from that competition a few years back. I was particularly interested in your George Crumb performance tonight. I'd love for you to come in for a master class. Oh, sure, Mom. My Terrific. God. George Crumb and I uh, studied composition together for many years. Uh, you know what? Set it up with my mom. I have to do something. Claire. Did you mean what you said? Did you? Likewise. Seconds? Right. So how long is a second? I don't know. Let me know if it's one second. That was a second and a half. When you're tackling Crump, he writes in a completely different rhythmic genre, the one for which we all felt he should have been favored, but nonetheless. You're no longer feeling the division of measures. You're playing against time, real time, and articulating the impulse of each what makes the performance. Yeah, but on a recording... Yes. Recordings? You can't play this piece by ear. It must be off the page. Most musicians interpret but never understand the nuances of performing this piece. Second measure, time. Instructions on that Cassandra. Drop a very light aluminum chain. Yes, yes, aluminum chain. It sounds like you brought in steel, yes? I don't know. Ah, but you must. You must know the effect. 
the pipe rumbling against the strings to accentuate the harmonics. George Crumb. Most artists think Macrocosmos is a perfect competition piece because no one knows it. Oh my god, my lucky day. But to play it correctly, to do it right, I hold there are very few who actually can. Will it be you, young man? Do you have the courage? Again, the harmonics. <laughs> I don't understand how it gets ruined by experimenting. Sweetness! Please, don't trouble yourself. You're the only person I've been attracted to and kissing you and- God, Michael, I go in in less than two minutes and I can't remember the first note. It was my first time. I just want to hold you and call And what? You. Do me on top of the piano? What? I heard what you said about me, Michael. The whole school heard. Claire, I- What? I, Are you concocting your next lie or just trying to talk your way out of this one? I cared about you. I wanted to become intimate with you. And when you could, I wasn't mad. I thought it was endearing. But I wasn't going to tell anyone because it wasn't anyone's business. But for you to go and spread rumors that we had sex and to gloat. I did it. Of course you did. Where else would they have started from? Definitely not. From me. 
Michael, someone wrote that I was a slut on the bathroom wall in permanent ink, and I am not. You're the only person I've ever wanted to be with. I wanted to go back to how it was. I put such a high premium on honesty for my friendships, Michael. Please. I love you.